new limbs for war refugees. Doctors are looking to 3D technology to provide prosthetic access to poor and wounded refugees in the Middle East. Doctors Without Borders has been working with a hospital in Amman, Jordan to help upper limb amputees from war-torn nations. Before designing a prosthetic limb, the team assesses each patient and makes a scan of their stumps. They use flexible thermoplastic polyurethane to 3D print the socket and hand and a firmer plastic to create the forearm. When the parts have been assembled together, the limb can be printed to match the patient's skin tone. Doctors make sure the lightweight prosthetic limb fits comfortably on the stump, ensuring patients will be able to use it long term according to their needs. The 3D printed prosthetics take only 24 hours to design and produce and cost only a fraction of the normal price at $20. Doctors Without Borders is still improving the process but wants to expand to other missions in the future. No limb, no problem. Stray amputee cat fitted with prosthetic paws. A stray cat in Sofia, Bulgaria is getting a second chance at life in more ways than one. A groundbreaking surgery has suddenly changed his fate as he's recently been fitted with prosthetics. Pooh the cat lost his hind legs in an accident last year as a kitten. It's believed he was run over by a car or a train. His difficult situation made him a good candidate for a prosthetic surgery method called ITAP, where the titanium implant pegs against the bone directly. The protruding titanium stems provide a secure attachment point for the cat's paws to snap in, which are made of Bulgarian polymer and rubber. For the procedure to be a complete success, Pooh's skin will eventually grow over the bone and stem tightly enough to prevent infections. Now 10 months old, Pooh the cat is running around fine on his new hind legs and has even been seen cleaning them. Another young amputee cat, Steven, has now also undergone the same procedure. These are Bulgaria's first successful feline prosthetic surgeries and the first in all of Europe outside England. In 2009, a cat named Oscar was fitted with prosthetic hind legs in a similar procedure, which cost roughly $62,000. Pooh's surgery cost roughly $1,600 and was paid for by donations from the animal shelter that cares for him. Now that he's got his legs back, all he needs is a new home. Robocat, anyone? No hand, no problem. An Italian woman has become the first woman to try out the first bionic hand with a sense of touch that can be worn outside a laboratory. Scientists in Rome have unveiled a portable bionic hand which uses sensors and electrodes to restore a sense of touch, trialing the technology on a woman who lost her hand 25 years ago. Sensors on the prosthetic hand detect whether an object being held is hard or soft and send electrical signals to a portable computer. The signals are converted into sensory impulses and sent to electrodes implanted in the upper arm Arm, which then relay it to the brain. The process happens in real time, and the woman claimed she felt the sensation spontaneously as though it was her real hand. Unfortunately, she had to give back the prototype once the six-month trial period ended. Scientists are now working on miniaturizing the electronics and making the technology clinically usable. Blind UK patients to receive bionic eyes. England's National Health Service will fund the procedures for 10 blind patients to be fitted with bionic eyes, which should restore partial eyesight. To be fitted with the bionic eyes, patients have to receive implants in their retinas. They also must wear camera-mounted glasses that are equipped with transmitters, along with a small computer attached to their waist. The camera records the scene before them, while a video is sent to the small computer. The image is then transmitted wirelessly to the implant in the eye. Then the image is converted to electrical pulses and sent to the electrodes attached to the retina. The electrodes stimulate the remaining cells in the retina to transmit the image to the brain. The procedures will take place in 2017 and the patients will then be monitored for one year in order to assess how the implants have affected their lives. An injured green sea turtle can swim again after scientists came to its help with a prosthetic fin. A green sea turtle that had to have two flippers amputated after sustaining severe damage has regained the ability to swim with the help of a revolutionary prosthetic fin. Israeli scientists decided to help an injured green sea turtle after it was trapped by a fishing net in the Mediterranean Sea. The male turtle's left side flippers were so badly damaged that they were deemed beyond repair and had to be amputated. Scientists first designed a prosthetic fin similar to the dorsal fin of a fish. 
they found the new fin improved the turtle's swimming, but it was still finding it difficult to properly emerge at the water's surface. One scientist decided to create a prosthetic for the turtle based on the design of Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptor warplane. Scientists formed two fins that kept the turtle relatively balanced, helping it to surface properly. However, the turtle will never be able to return to the wild. The turtle was dubbed Hofesh, which means freedom in Hebrew. He is being kept in a tank with a female green sea turtle named Surit, whom scientists hope he will mate with so their offspring may be released into the wild.